article, my sister Amory, Amory, A M R Y. Amory. <laughs> that's actually not how you spell her <laughs> name, but that's how we pronounce it, Philly. Amory. Um, she sent me a, an article about a woman, Lauren Anderson, who's an improviser. She's like a professional improviser. And a guy heckled her um, because of her weight. Like, she brought a guest up to do a scene with her. And no, him. I'm sorry, him. I oh, met, I met her. her. Yeah. And it was for like a, it was like a group. She does corporate events. She does corporate events. She does events. these corporate events and she brought this guy up and normally these guys, these people give a suggestion that's like usually something to do with their work, like put a pin in it or, you know, or it's like an inside joke between them. Mm-hmm. Like that guy, Charlie's never going to remember where the copier is. <laughs> like it's an inside joke, right? But that's not what this guy did. His suggestion was your ex-husband left you because you were too big. And then the entire crowd laughed. At first, she thought at her, right? Yeah. And then she was kind of like, I just need to be a professional right now and get through this. Yeah. And she, like, it was like that horrible laughing into, ooh, do you know what I mean? Like, that horrible, like, we're laughing, but we feel like we shouldn't, so we'll try to change it into something else. And then she, like, pushed forward and, like, worked with the guy. And her bosses were like, we were amazed by you, and we would have totally supported you if you went after him. But what? But I, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. And which I don't. I don't. I don't think. Kathy and I <laughs> talked about it. We were like, no. Jolene is just like shaking her no. head. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could do that. I feel when I read the story, I felt like this wave of, like I felt like I was gonna cry. Like I wouldn't be able to do that. But first of all, because why is that funny? Why in any world is that funny? In any, yeah. even if you were, how is that funny? Because first of all, it, you're implying then that her husband is shallow, right. or that he's weak, or that he's brainwashed. Right. So how is that even funny in the right. first place? Right. So I know it's hurtful, and sometimes being hurtful can be funny in a sense, but it's it's not. And, funny. and also, she's a stranger to you. Right. I mean, that's also. What's, I mean, it's not nice to say to someone that you know, but at least if you have that relationship already, like, you can feel somebody out. But that that's just, I mean, that's just somebody. And she wrote about, you have to read the article. It's in City Pages. And it is so well written, guys. And she goes through her whole process. She goes, that guy said it left that day probably didn't think another thing about it maybe someone was like good one haha ha. she's like and that sat with me for a week and she had to like deal with that for a week mm-hmm. and i and you know i also know that i probably would not be okay i would have probably like because <sighs> i'm that person anyway i'm a leo um <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm a leo i'm a leo <laughs> and um i once in on the streets of new york is when i was younger it's like around Footloose days. Actually, when I was kind of feeling myself and I thought it was really cute, I was walking down Fifth Avenue, I'll never forget it, and these two guys were like walking close to me. And the one guy goes, you know, you'd be real cute if you got some slim fast. And I literally was like, well, you can't fix being an asshole, can ya? And your mother gave you that face and you stuck with it. I mean, I like (laughs) went off like a crazy human, like a crazy insane person (laughs) in the middle of Fifth Avenue. And his friend was like, yo, yo, yo. Friend was like, you fuck with the wrong bitch. <laughs> that bitch is gonna come. Cause I was like, just like little old me, like looking like I'm from the Midwest, like in my little jean jacket and my man's shirt that I thought was really cute, my little hair done and my makeup on. And he came for me about fucking slim fast. And I literally, it was like automatic. It was like there was no breath. I literally came for him like I, I attacked like a dog, like a lion, like a lion. Rawr. I'm telling. So that improvisation. I don't know how she did it, especially when improv is like you having to be quick, right? Say what's at the top of your mind. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think I would have made some dick jokes. <laughs> like, for sure. That's where I would have gone. It's like, well, maybe it's because the dick was too small. I don't know. I definitely wouldn't t- have taken the higher road yeah. in that situation. I mean, she Amazing. totally did. She, like, went off and she talked about she, The article's Amazing. really great. She talked about how she kept it really professional, Yeah, she which said, I would not have been able to do. No, I don't think so. She <laughs> says, how dare, how dare he, this slightly drunk guy trying to make his work buddies laugh at my expense, probably didn't give his comment another thought, and yet it was ruining my week. Not only do I live my life in a body that society can't accept, it never lets me forget it fierce and the only time I can get reprieve is if I apologize for being this way and act like I hate myself or promise I'm going to change it and here's a picture of her on the screen right now she's she's extraordinary 
this article is so good. I hope she becomes, a, I, 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 we have to become fans of hers. I have to figure out where she is. Um, I feel like it's, it might be a Chicago thing. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm.